Today, um, I'm going to discuss about our new uh, offering, uh, new product launch, Hub of Friend. Uh, we're very excited about this product because it's very relevant in um, today's uh, scenario. Its Hub of Mock Front is nothing but a CDN service. Um, and the reason I said that it is very relevant is because through the recent COVID uh, times and the increased uh, usage of internet and um, the way the business models have changed in moving um, you know, a lot of businesses online have pretty much, um, you know, uh, disrupted the way, uh, uh, you know, the internet has been previously used to, uh, to what it is today. Um, so CDN plays uh, a bigger role. Let me tell you why. Um, uh, and then I'll come to how Harborfront uh, CDN can help um, Indian uh, businesses uh, pretty much and also give experience for their end users. So before going into CDN, um, let me uh, tell a little bit about um, the users, the user experience, the internet users, the people who use it. So as we know today, um, the usage, uh, let, let, let me uh, talk about two things, right? When we talk about content, there is a video and then there is a content like, you know, e-commerce or online purchasing or websites or catalogs and stuff like that, which is, you know, the other type of content. In either case, people over the years, the patience of the users have significantly gone down, which means that um, if the page or the content has not loaded in three seconds, more than 50% of the time, the user end user will go away. The end user will go away either to an alternate uh, website, which means that the business is losing um, the user. Um, so typically if that happens to the website, it can create a um, significant amount of revenue loss for the company. So even that one, two, three seconds of delay in loading the content can have a significant impact on the revenue of the online uh, merchants and, and people do uh, uh, online business and, and deliver online. So in this context, it is extremely, extremely uh, important that you secure those, uh, those users and give that experience. So there are two main things when it comes to um, on why CDN is important, right? Um, for online users especially, one is performance. Second is security, right? Performance is extremely important um, from a user and user experience standpoint so that either your video or your online content like your catalogs or uh, whatever you are purchasing. You could be purchasing retail, you could be purchasing groceries, you could be purchasing clothes. You can be purchasing shoes, any number of things and this content needs to load and needs to give a very good experience to the end user. So from that perspective, performance is extremely important for your online businesses. The second thing is security. There is significant amount of data um, that is being transmitted back and forth uh, between the end user and the content, original content provider in the backend. So security in that aspect plays a significant um, amount of role for um, securing, I mean, it could be payment data, one is, you know, I mean, content itself, it could be content, the second is the, you know, obviously the payment data, which is, so from this perspective, security plays um, a very uh, important role. So the traffic that goes between the end user and the content provider needs to perform well and needs to be highly secured, which means that the traffic is a clean traffic. It needs to be a clean traffic. So now, keeping these two things in mind, and based on what I explained on how important it is for CDN, um, or, or I would say, or rather for online businesses to um, give better performance, 
and have and maintain a highly secure uh, transactions and environment and how can they use CDM and how will they benefit from CDM. So now let me talk about a little bit about Harborfront uh, CDM and how it helps uh, businesses especially in the Indian context because of what we are uh, seeing and how businesses have uh, moved uh, um, online. Now when it comes to um, maybe let me talk about performance, right? Performance, how many of um, you guys would have experienced uh, when you are playing a video, you know, it goes on and on in circles, right? And it never loads, which means that it is buffering, 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 which means that either it is not connected, most of the, I mean, I would say 99% chance that the content is not being driven through a CDN network. That's the main reason why you are probably experiencing this. So CDN will solve this problem of buffering and so that the end user do not lose interest in watching the video or moves to somewhere else to a different website or to a different uh, OTT uh, platform or something else to be able to watch the, watch the movie. Same thing with uh, you know this content, I am trying to buy uh, you know groceries online, you know uh, somebody at home is trying to buy groceries online right you need you need that by the afternoon so if if it's not loading properly or you know um, uh, you're not able to see the images and by the way if you look at it right uh, you know with, with uh, the smartphone the search and uh, using the usage of smartphones uh, more than 50 percent of the purchases in India today are done on a mobile phone which means that people can be anywhere when they purchase this. Same thing with the videos. People are watching uh, videos from different avenues on their mobile. I think even videos, 50% um, of the videos today that are watched, um, not only in India but around the world, is through uh, a mobile phone or through a mobile device basically. So that from that perspective, uh, you know, this also brings up on demand, right? On demand. So on demand, people are buying or watching a video or you know looking at the content and making a purchase or, or doing something. So this is why this is another place where CDM plays a significant role in enabling on demand content. And I'll explain you how, how it actually works. So let me um, draw a bit of a picture here. So from a, the reason CDN can help with the performance is here you have a original content, you know original content provider, original content provider. So now let's say this is the, um, the internet and this is the end user. So, in a traditional world, basically through the internet, the user is directly connected to the original content provider and trying to stream the content. Now, what this does is depending on you know the connectivity, depending on your location, where you are, it can be extremely slow to sometimes it might not even load depending on your given location. Versus if you have a CDN, right? CDN is something that takes content closer to the end user. So it has these nodes in multiple locations. So this is what Harbor One, uh, Harbor uh, Front CDN does, where it brings this content closer to the end user. So in this case, this end user one is getting it from here. So there could be a million users here, right? There could be a million users, for example. And if these million users, without CDN, they would go directly here and imagine what will happen. You know, it will choke everything. So versus, you know, if these million users going to one, two, three, four, if the traffic is spread evenly across four different locations, um, where to which this content is delivered, that is it in the back end link to this and delivering this content 
the experience will be you know uh, fantastic for, for the end users um, and they will not be like so this is where the three second rule come into play where um, you know the, you'll be able to give that the businesses will be able to give that experience to the end user so from a performance standpoint this is why the delivering this content in a non cdn kind of environment to a cdn kind of environment plays a, uh, you know a significant role so this is the you know performance point of view this is what um hubfront cdn um, does from a performance standpoint now coming to security right security um is also it's also extremely important because cdn gives you clean traffic and again um, i tell you you have the original content provider here let us say then you have the internet you have the internet and then you have um again the cdn nodes let us say and then you have the end user um one so here in this case what happens is you know um the, the the way you get protection is when the content is delivered in the case of um, uh, this so your ddos attacks and your um uh vaf web application firewall prevention so these checks will will be done at the, this level so instead of a an attack going directly to here and choking this the attack is localized the attack is localized on these these nodes and here also basically these nodes have the capability to filter off these and provide that clean traffic to the user also protecting the ocp here original content provider in the back end so it's one it's mitigating the risk of taking this entire thing down by a malicious attack to localizing that impact to a particular node um Uh, so that while the other nodes are still healthy in case if there is a something that were to happen but even there there is you know, there is protection in here for um native built in protection for ddos um and waf uh, so that your you get clean traffic um and um, whatever you are streaming is safe so that is one from a um security um standpoint now what hubfront uh, cdn also does is in addition to this uh, you have a number of analytical tools um where which shows your utilization um uh, and you can decide uh, how much traffic you would want to route it to cdn uh, and you can manage it uh, manage the cost and other things uh, based on how much you want want to um you know using these analytics these real time analytics so this is um uh, basically the other advantage of of using this uh, our front cdm so that you are in control you know how much um traffic that you want to send through cdm overall um, also uh, the difference is uh, our front is primarily um um uh, based in india and focused on the indian market primarily uh, targeted at indian businesses for the indian businesses to leverage this and hence um um the cost the total cost of ownership to be able to uh, have a cdn for your businesses is also uh, significantly low so um just to sum it up this is what um, cdn is and um, what kind of a role it plays in enabling and improving the revenue for uh, the businesses 
um, on that end and second how it delivers fantastic performance to your end users um, and thereby um, increasing your uh, number of subscribers um, to build your business. So if you need any further information on how HubOfront CDN can help your business, uh, please go to this uh, URL below at the bottom of the screen um, where you can uh, even send an email and um, uh, schedule an appointment uh, with an expert to be able to review the features of the CDN and how it can help your business.